Hello everybody, Crimson Buddhist here. So I'm bringing you guys part two of my series on how to get the achievement What are you trying to prove in the original Left 4 Dead? So this is definitely the hardest one to get. Um, we spent, I don't know, I'll put at the end how many fails we had, and that's just of when I was recording. Um, you know, we, we got this, we actually completed this one um, a few years ago before I sold Left 4 Dead. Um, and we had countless tries on that one. That was just whenever it was two people. So this is possible with two people, once again. So, Death Toll Finale, the absolute hardest, like I just said. I can't stress that enough, so make sure you have a lot of time to play this whenever you're with your group of friends that want to do it. Because this one, even after we, you know, beat these campaigns so many times, we've gotten really good at it, actually. Uh, it still took us, just for the finale, I think it took us 30, 40 minutes, maybe. So... Yeah, just make sure you guys have a lot of time to, to play this one. Definitely take the shotgun. The shotgun's the absolute best. You know that you're in, you're in this house, it's really a confined space. Um, just make sure you use the shotgun, because if you don't, you probably will. We, we didn't use it. Uh, the corner that we're in right now is definitely the absolute best also. Uh, we tried it in the corner right there that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, in that corner. Um, and there's a... It kind of glitches because you're all in the same spot, so you sometimes shoot each other in accident, sometimes, you know, things happen. So this corner is absolutely the best, uh, because if you look to the right, where I'm looking over right now, no zombies can climb up there because it's the stairs. The only thing you have to worry about is what just happened there with uh, the back person getting smokered. And that's just easy to cure with somebody turning around and mailing. Yeah, so overall just make sure you have both people that are mailing in the front, both of you guys, if there are only two of you, I guess. Uh, make sure both of you guys are looking forward and meleeing for sure, because you don't have to look to the side. Uh, no zombies are going to come out of there. The only downfall is uh, the the window to your left. Uh, zombies can sometimes get glitched on there, and meleeing them doesn't do any damage and it doesn't hit them back. So just be be wary of that. Make sure you have somebody um, really focused and more on that window. But uh, no zombies can climb up that staircase. Banister thing, they they won't be able to climb up that. So don't worry about it. So as you saw right here, we have a bunch of Molotovs and pipe bombs always spawn here. So you know don't be afraid to use all of them. Whenever the tank comes, same drill as last time. You throw a Molotov, catch him on fire, and run around the house until he dies. You guys really really need to watch out for climbing through windows. Uh, windows in general are pretty terrible whenever it comes to anything because you move so slowly and it, it's really clunky mechanic since uh, you know sometimes you can get stuck sometimes you just you move incredibly slow no matter what it's just a terrible situation to be in so anytime you guys get downed or anything make sure you always heal if you can afford to have one person sitting in the back if you, know, if you have three people then one person can just stand in the back there that's shooting and you know, heal up while the other two people melee but make sure you guys are always healed if you're even the slightest bit slow you are not going to do well against the tank at all, and you'll probably die. Yeah, what, what just happened down there was uh, Adam got stuck in the, uh, the window. He got down, and he's the only person that needs to get this achievement. Uh, like, needs to complete this campaign, as uh, Aaron and I had already. But luckily we got him up. Just, uh, if somebody gets down and they really need to, to beat this and you guys don't want to play it again, just make sure you get right up on the tank and start shooting him. Not too close to where, you know, he's going to hit you with the, the splash damage, but... Um, he's not going to target you, you guys. After somebody's down, the tank keeps going after that person. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, always, always have at least two people meleeing, even if there are only two of you. Uh, it helps out a lot. One thing that I didn't say in the last one that's really useful is with the shotgun, um, you can reload, and it'll reload all of the shells, and you can just keep meleeing. It doesn't matter. He's still reloading while he's meleeing. So that's, that's a pretty cool glitch. Um, I don't know if it's a glitch, but it, it's a pretty cool mechanic, I guess. So it makes it a lot easier. And uh, the other thing is, don't ever use all 10 shots in your shotgun, because uh, if that happens, he has to, like, uh, I don't know what it is, pocket or something afterwards, and that takes, you know, an additional time to, to reload. So make sure you don't use all your shots and melee while reloading. The other thing is, always make sure you watch out for those smokers and boomers, because they get annoying. Boomers are especially annoying just because you can't see anything for a while. And uh, you know you're you're all in that little corner, so just try and take those out. This this last part is the most nerve-wracking whenever you come upon the second tank because uh, everybody knows that you've been you've tried this countless times to get this far, and it's you know so close to the end, and one tank can fuck everything up. Um, the turret's not especially useful in this, but if if you can get on the turret and the tank does spawn on that side, then go for it, I guess. There's the boomer down the stairs. Hey everybody, so I'm recording this little bit later in the box of spawn because I didn't have that much of a space for this box of theory. And uh, we're going to splice a couple of videos and talk to the box of theory for a while. So I wanted to keep it, you know, so it makes more sense. Yeah, Dad. Duck and cover! Cover me. God! Oh, 
I wasn't the one that opened it. Uh, make sure you have at least one person, if not everybody, with a pipe bomb at the end, just because um, for the, the last zombies that come. So if the tank spawns on that other side, on the, the turret side of the house, you just uh, set them on fire, use the turret a little bit if you want to, and then just run over to these docks. If you're at where I'm at, the, the tank can't throw rocks at you. He'll, um, you know, it'll go over your head or he can't aim at you or whatever. So that's a good spot to be. And then if he gets too close, you can run behind the rock. That was right behind me, and now to my left. Um, Adam right here, he threw the Molotov a little bit too early, and I might have thrown the pipe bomb just a little bit too early. But um, if he, the best thing to do is, you know, somebody throws, uh, I'm going to say a Molotov first hand, and then after that's kind of, you know, disappearing a little bit, throw a pipe bomb, and if that's, you know, after that's gone, throw whatever you have left, whether it's a Molotov or a pipe bomb. And there you saw we beat it. Excellent work, if I do say so myself. I don't think I have any other advice for you guys. It's just, it takes a little while. If you guys have any questions, you can always PM me or comment and I'll respond. So, don't forget to like if you liked it. Comment, do all that fun stuff. Um, the next two videos in this series, I'm going to have Aaron actually commentate with me or commentate by himself. I haven't decided yet. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Alright, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thanks, Dad. Oh, and that's the end.